zero, you know, here much of the data apart from we have one satellite from the neutrino. So I thought that it makes a very interesting, uh, like, uh, an opportunity to uh, use in a fiction. And again, sort of, his life is also shrouded in mystery. Uh, I mean, nobody even knows where he was born. Uh, so, roughly, people say that he was, uh, you know, uh, like born in a place which is close to Patna, and then there is another theory which says that he, he was born in Kerala. But again, there is uh, like uh, uh, with certain certainty, you can say that he used to work in Ujjain. Uh, so because uh, Ujjain, uh, I mean, comes in his uh, you know in his works a number of times, right? And Ujjain is, is again the place where Kalidas, uh, you know, uh, used to stay. Right? So uh, so Kalidas. And Aryabhata were actually contemporaries. So, like in one of Kalidas's uh, writings, right, he uh, very obliquely he refers to a mathematician who people believe to the Aryabhata. So, you know, like his life is entirely uh, shrouded in mystery. And what I did, sort of, I used one of his verses as as a cryptic code. So that's the uh, the connection to Aryabhata. Uh, you have a scenario where uh, this. Uh, you know, uh, this Islamic state right, in uh, which is ISIS, right? ISIS or IS, what they call it. They have uh, you know, spread across a large number of places in, in the world, up, you know, uh, other than Iraq and Syria. And a part of that have come to India also, and they are they're trying to do you know, uh, do some mischief in a, in a very big way, right? And again, sort of, uh, they are there, and then also there are other fundamental. Only fundamentalist groups, right? not only the Islamic fundamentalist, but I mean, there is also a parallel narrative of uh, a Hindu fundamentalist group. Right? So, like uh, overall, it, it, when it talks about you know uh, the danger of uh, any fundamentalist uh, group or or, a, or any fundamentalist uh, mentality, right? and, and so the historical background is we like that, it's like few fundamentalist group, right? I mean, they are trying to create and uh, make it havoc and they are trying to uh, uh, like uh, infringe into the academics, into the history, right? I mean, they are trying to redact history, right? So I think uh, we have heard a lot of instances, right, where any political power who is at the center, they they they, they try to change the narrative of, of uh, you know Indian history, right? And uh, and Indian history as such has been very poorly written and also very really poorly read. Here, sort of the premise is something like that where. You know, somebody is trying to uh, I mean, manipulate history and how that can be used in a very volatile and it can be used in a very uh, explosive manner. If, you know, if you see like a lot of the uh, like uh, mischiefs which happened in India in the last 20 30 years, where actually due to some historical fact which was narrated in a uh, you know, explosive matter, this entire Babri Masjid, right, or uh, even this entire, uh, you know, Tavidian movement, where there is North India, South India, even if you see, like, everything was done uh, with some historical background, right, somebody has narrated the history in a way which, which when it becomes an explosive, right, so history, you know, based on the narrative, right, uh, you, you can do a lot of things, right, you can, you, know, you can create riots, you can, you can create, uh, you know, religious divides, you can create uh, ethnical divides, right, like uh, so, one is you know divided on the base on the basis of religion. And then if you see, that there are a lot of clashes based on ethnicity, right? Like this entire you know Sri Lankan movement, right? So, so Tamil, the Tamilians and Sri Lankans both were Hindus, right? So, but still, like entire clash between them was ethnic ethnicity, right? And then again, and that was based on some history that they are ethnically different, right? And they actually they have different cultures. If you see, but you know like. Uh, Though, so this uh, this Tamil and Sri Lankan uh, I mean, conflict is, is not a part of I mean, my narrative, right? But then, uh, I mean, just to uh, you know, as a reference, right? I mean, uh, when I was doing the research for I mean, for this book, right? Uh, so there are some uh, I mean, good amount of uh, you know uh, sort of history which says actually like in Sri Lanka, right? Whether uh, the Tamilians either in Sri Lanka or in India. Or the Shilak or the Sinhalese, right? So they speak two different languages, right? But ethnically, they all you know belong to the same flock, right? Huh? And there's a very complicated history how it happened, right? And and who, who are the original Tamilians and who are the original Sinhalese, right? But at some point of time, right? And it, it is not very old; it's around around 2,000 years old, right? So, so like they were 
they actually came from the same same group of people, right? So this, but then uh, this entire divide was created based on some specific historical construction, right? So here also, like I recreate a scenario where sort of like some medieval history and some history where Aryabhat plays a big role has been compacted, has been you know, manipulated by a fundamentalist group just to create an havoc and then just to uh, you know, create some political I mean, mischief just before the election in 2019, you know, when is the next general election and then most of the mischief in India happens around the election. Right? A lot of inspiration for this uh, this book and also the first one came from um, especially uh, more Indiana Jones than that is good because when I was in college, right? Like, uh, so that's why I first saw one of the movies of Indiana Jones. And all the Indiana Jones uh, stories, right? They are uh, they have a lot of adventure, right? But they, they have a very strong uh, historical component, archaeology, symbols, right? So here also, I mean, I try to sort of recreate a similar thing, but on an Indian uh, background uh, and, and maybe. Uh, Ancient Indian history. So the, the previous book was on very old ancient Indian history where uh, the age during Rig Veda, right? So uh, like uh, the times around Rig Veda, right? Rig Veda, right? And so where they came from, right? So that was history of that. And in Aryabhat, it's much more later. It's, it's in a medieval time where uh, you have uh, the Kalidas Aryabhat, so that's 